I'm Dave Asprey, founder of Bulletproof. My goal is to live to 180 plus, and that's not a joke, it's actually achievable. About 120 is achievable with where technology is today. As technology changes, I'm expecting to get more mileage out of the existing meat that I have here. You can do the same thing, and it starts and really ends with taking care of your mitochondria, because when your batteries die, you die. With that kind of attitude, it's hard to believe that there was a time when Dave Asprey was drastically overweight. The Silicon Valley native spent 15 years and $300,000 learning how to hack his body into ultimate performance, losing 100 pounds and upgrading his IQ in the process. I had all the diseases of aging before I was 30. I was pre-diabetic. Uh, I saw stretch marks when I was that heavy. I had arthritis when I was 14. I had severe cognitive deficiency right in the middle of growing my career in Silicon Valley. And that's why I became a biohacker. Sure, you've heard of hacking when it comes to technology. But the body? Asprey argues that not only is biohacking essential, but that taking full control of our bodies is actually a part of human nature. Biohacking is the art and science of changing the environment around you so that you have more control over your own biology. And for a long time, hack meant something kind of negative. Like, that's what a computer hacker does, they take over a system. But isn't that what you want to do for yourself? Your body does all sorts of things you don't want. It gets distracted, it gets fat, it gets tired, and things start to sag. Well, don't you want to hack that system? Don't you want to take control of it? And is it okay to take control of it, even if you don't know everything about how it works? It's not only okay, that's what we're wired to do as human beings. And that's why I'm completely happy to be hacking myself. It's not cheating. It means doing the most effective things to get the results we want. Asprey wanted to be healthier and also much more productive, both of which start at the cellular level, he says, with the body's powerhouse, the mitochondria. About 10% of your body weight is your battery. Believe it or not, you have an iPhone. Your iPhone has a battery that charges everything. You are no different, and you charge your battery by eating and to some extent by getting some sunshine and by breathing. If your battery works really, really well, like it does in a new phone, it holds a charge all day and it works all the time. If your battery just doesn't hold a charge very well or it doesn't deliver as much energy as it should, your phone won't do all the things it's capable of doing and you're exactly the same way. Your battery is called a mitochondria. In fact, you have a quadrillion of them in your body. These are tiny bacteria, at least they used to be bacteria. And billions of years ago, they became part of our cells and to this day, they're running things. They decide how much energy you're allowed to have, how much energy you're allowed to have when you're doing a bench press, and how much energy you're allowed to have when you're working to not yell at your kids because they just did something that made you frustrated. So all the stuff that goes on in your head, all the stuff that goes on in your body, it's all driven and controlled by these tiny little bacteria called mitochondria. So what's the secret to fully charging your body's main power source? Paying close attention to what you're really asking of your body at all times. They don't listen to you, they listen to the environment around you. They listen to the stimulus and the demands that are put on them. So when you exercise really vigorously, you're telling them, be ready to be strong, be able to deliver that electricity to my brain cells and to my muscle cells, to my heart. And when you relax and you meditate or do yoga, what you're doing is you're telling them, the world is not a threatening place, therefore, take your energy and use it to recharge and refresh the battery system instead of being ready to run away from tigers. Because if you're anxious all the time, your mitochondria think there's tigers around, that must be why. They're not very smart bacteria. By controlling the environment around you, you can actually make your mitochondria work much better. But there's a catch. While, yes, it's good to get to the gym and invest time in exercise, Asprey's actually found that those who kill themselves working out don't age nearly as well. Instead, he suggests being quite deliberate with how you work up a sweat. It's better to exercise less with the right equipment and precisely than it is to just do more exercise with lower quality. So going out there and just beating yourself up and flopping around having poor form and not using the right equipment isn't necessarily going to get you the returns on the time and energy that you spend on it. So working with a trainer, working with the right equipment and doing less exercise but doing it perfectly and at the right intensity gives you more benefits in less time and that's what it's all about. That's how you charge up your mitochondria. Of course, 
Hacking your body to its fullest potential is bigger than catching on to a best practice workout routine. A lot of it has to do with the fuel you're taking in. The goal of Asprey's famous bulletproof diet is to be constantly satisfied, using fat as fuel. When you're in fat burning mode, hunger hormones like ghrelin shift in the optimal direction, reducing cravings. And when that happens, the results are magical. If I was eating fried stuff and canola oil and corn oil and soybean oil and things like that, I wouldn't look the way I do, I wouldn't function the way I do, and my mitochondria, those batteries in my body, they wouldn't hold energy the way they do. Today, Asprey's best known for his Bulletproof brand, including Bulletproof Coffee, Bulletproof Radio, and his New York Times bestseller, The Bulletproof Diet. His latest book, Headstrong, is his plan for improving your energy and your brain in two weeks. Headstrong is named Headstrong because it's not about being stubborn, but it's actually about strength in your head. This battery system in your body, your mitochondria, it's most represented in your brain. You have more mitochondria in your neurons and in your head and in your eyes and in your heart than anywhere else in your body. What that means is that when you do something to make your body strong, something to make your mitochondria strong, you're going to feel it first in your head.